There we go! This will be my first in-car vlog, but uh, basically I just wanted to go over uh, just a couple things before we get into the actual drills. Um, with any of these videos that I play for you guys or I show, let me get this out of the way. Um, basically I'm going to show uh, a few different ways to fix some issues you may have. Now my goal is to go over all the things that I know as a hitter and learn. Um, however, you could take away from it whatever you want. So basically, like today, we're gonna go over five ways to develop power. You might already do a couple of these things, so you might wanna only take away one or two uh, tips I give you. Um, so that's the benefit of YouTube and also um, with these videos that I make, is that you're gonna have you know your own custom way of taking away from it so don't get overwhelmed if you think oh I had to do all five of these things to develop power that's not true um, you gotta want your you have to have the ability to analyze your own swing and uh, tell yourself do I need to do that or is it more important I focus on this part so um, this is to help you guys I hope you guys do enjoy this uh, these are these are drills and things that I've changed throughout the years and worked on to develop my strength and my power at the plate. And like any of my other videos, if you have any questions um, on any of these drills or if you need any more tips, just comment below. And I I usually try to uh, respond within you know whenever I get the uh, whenever I get the comments. So. We're almost to the park here, we're right around the corner, so I'll see you at the field. So first things first, we're here at the field, let's get warmed up. Number one is our weight on our back leg. So this is a big, big one. Um, when we're talking about being able to use our legs properly, yet limiting our movement with the rest of our body. The key is we do not want our weight to either A, come up short of stacking on our backside, but also we don't want our weight to go over our back knee. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean right here. What I mean by our back knee is, I see guys try to develop power by not getting back first. So their movement is here up and straight down, okay? If we're gonna develop power into the ball, we first have to retract ourselves away from the hitting zone. So we're, we wanna stack our weight over our backside here. But you could see, I'm keeping the pressure on the inside of my knee. I'm not letting myself get on the outside. If I get on the outside, now I have too much movement back here. 
it's gonna shift my head and my body too far back. So to get everything lined back to where it needs to be, I just gave myself a way bigger window um, to where I could lose myself with my balance and my timing with the rest of my body. So there's a couple ways to make sure our knees on the, our weights on the inside. If you are having trouble doing that and you're taking video and you're still rolling on the outside of your foot, you wanna make sure that that pressure is on that inside step right there. Sometimes when I dig in the box, I like to have a slight angle with my back, just very slight angle with my back foot. So when I dig in, I wanna make sure my foot is slightly at an angle so it's almost like I'm pushing against the wall here. If you don't like that, if that's uncomfortable for you, another way to do it is if you're on flat ground after we dig in, we take your back foot and slightly turn it, very, very slightly to the inside. Now it forces me to keep my weight on the inner half of that knee right here. And this is what that looks like. So there you go. I hit, hit a ball to each part of the field, to left, to center, to right, and I made sure I kept my weight on the inner part of that knee. Again, this is gonna help you direct your power into the hitting zone and limit you from moving too much when you have that negative movement away from the ball.